Hello students today i am going to teach you lesson number 1 of class 4 science the topic is the food we eat before going into the topic first let me tell you the key topics from the chapter which we are going to deal with the key topics are food a basic necessity components of food balanced diet don't waste food and preservation of food first let us start with the introduction to the topic as we know that all living beings need food to survive or we can say that food is the fuel of our body it gives us energy to do work and keeps us healthy there are two main sources of food plants and animals from plants we get rice wheat fruits vegetables whereas we get meat fish and eggs from animals then why is food called as a basic necessity food is the source of energy of our body energy is needed for the activities inside our body like to walk run talk play etc energy is also needed to grow and to remain healthy all living things on the earth need food to sustain life thus we can say that food is a basic necessity of our life Then let's move on to the next key topic that is components of food. What are the basic components of food then? They are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, water and roughage. So let us now discuss one by one about the basic components of food. The first one is carbohydrates. Carbohydrates is the main source of energy for our bodies. There are two types of carbohydrates. Those are sugar and starch. Cereals, fruits, vegetables, breads, etc. contain carbohydrates in it. Our body uses these foods to make glucose, which is the main source of energy for our body. Glucose is the type of sugar that can be used right away for energy. or stored away to be used later so carbohydrates is highly needed by the laborers those who do physical work the next component of food which we are going to deal with are fats so what are fats fats also give us energy just like the carbohydrates the body uses fat as a fuel source as it is the major storage form of energy in the body since fats give us more energy than the carbohydrates so it is required in lesser quantity or we can say in a moderate amount few examples of food items that has fats in it are butter ghee oil cheese etc here we need to note down one important point that is foods rich in carbohydrates and fats are also called as energy giving food the next component of food is proteins protein is essential for growth and repair of the body and maintenance of good health of the body proteins help our body to repair the damaged part by building new cells it also helps in building our muscles and fighting against the infection and diseases since protein help us in growing thus small children need more amount of proteinaceous food thus we can also say that food rich in protein are also called as body building food few examples of food items that have proteins are meat egg fish etc the next topic is vitamins and minerals vitamin means vital for life Vitamins and minerals are compounds necessary for the healthy functioning of our bodies. We need vitamins and minerals for growth, to see correctly, to form bones, muscles, skin, organs as well as to fight against infection. There are many types of vitamins. They have been given different names like they are vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K. So these vitamins are found in vegetables, meat, fish, eggs and fruits 
like your citrus fruits they are they give us vitamin C then there are different types of minerals also like potassium calcium iron iodine sodium etc calcium is mostly required for healthy bones and teeth whereas iron is needed for making blood these minerals can be found in vegetables fresh fruits meat fish and milk so we can also say, say that foods rich in vitamins and minerals as the protective food let's move on to our next topic that is water and roughage although water is not a nutrient but it is highly essential for the proper functioning of our body water helps our body to absorb nutrients from food it also helps in throwing out some waste from the food as urine and sweat thus we can say that water is needed for digestion excretion and circulation so we should drink plenty of water daily to balance the loss of water roughage is an essential component of our food and adds to its bulk this helps our body to get rid of undigested food salad corn cob broken wheat are rich in roughage material now let us study about the balanced diet what is a balanced diet a diet containing right quantities of nutrients is called a balanced diet or we can also say that a balanced diet is one that gives our body the nutrients it needs to function correctly it includes all the components of food that is proteins carbohydrates fats vitamins minerals as well as roughage and water we need a large amount of carbohydrates less of proteins and small amount of fats and lots of fruits and vegetables for the proper functioning of the body our next topic is don't waste food as the heading implies not to waste food we should never waste food because it leads to multiple wastage of other natural resources there are thousands of people all over the world who do not get food to eat and they die because of hunger and malnutrition thus we should not waste food let's move on to the last topic of this lesson that is preservation of food so what do you mean by preservation of food food preservation is an action or method designed to maintain food at a desired level of quality the process of preventing the food from getting spoiled and to keep them edible for a longer duration of time is called preservation of food there are some ways of preserving food they are boiling canning and bottling salting dehydrating or drying freezing and pickling so let us now discuss one by one the different ways of preserving food the first method is boiling boiling is the process in which food is cooked in a liquid in an open or a covered deep boiling saucepan the second method is canning and bottling in which food is stored with preservatives in cans or glass containers so that the food remains fresh for a longer period of time for example the jam bottles the third method is salting in this method high quantity of salt is added to the food in order to keep it fresh the next method is dehydrating or drying in this method the water content in the food is removed to make the food last for a longer duration of time next comes freezing in this method the temperament of the food is sufficiently lowered to keep it fresh which means the food is either refrigerated or deep frozen the last method is pickling in this method the food is preserved in oil salt and spices to keep it fresh for a longer period of time for example the different types of pickles which we get in the market with this we end the lesson hope you have understood the lesson thank you children and stay safe at home